May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. December 21, 2023, Thursday of the third week of Advent. A reading from the Song of Songs. The voice of my beloved. Behold, he arrives leaping along the mountains, jumping across the hills. My beloved is like a doe and like a young stag. Lo, he stands beyond our wall, gazing through the windows, watching through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, rise up quickly, my love, my dove, my shapely one, and advance. For winter has now passed, the rain has decreased and gone away. The flowers have appeared in our land, the time for pruning has arrived. The voice of the turtle dove has been heard in our land. The fig tree has brought forth its green figs, the flowering vines bestow their odor. Rise up, my love, my brilliant one, and advance. My dove in the clefts of the rock, in the hollows of the wall, reveal to me your face. Let your voice sound in my ears. For your voice is sweet, and your face is graceful. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Exult, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Give praise to the Lord on the harp. Sing to him with the psaltery the instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new canticle, sing well unto him with a loud noise. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen for his inheritance. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, for he is our helper and protector. For in him our heart shall rejoice, and in his holy name we have trusted. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And in those days, Mary, rising up, traveled quickly into the hill country, to a city of Judah. And she entered into the house of Zechariah, and she greeted Elizabeth. And it happened that, as Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she cried out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this concern me, so that the mother of my Lord would come to me? For behold, as the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed are you who believed, for the things that were spoken to you by the Lord shall be accomplished. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can you bring the presence of Christ into the lives of those around you, sharing his love and joy? Mary set out in those days, and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Luke 1 verses 39-40 We are presented today with the glorious story of the visitation. When Mary was about two months pregnant, she traveled to be with her cousin Elizabeth, who was to give birth within a month. Though much could be said about this, as an act of familial love given from Mary to Elizabeth, the central focus immediately becomes the precious child within the womb of Mary. Imagine the scene. Mary had just traveled about 100 miles. 
she was most likely exhausted. As she finally arrived, she would have been relieved and joyful at the completion of her journey. But Elizabeth says something quite inspiring at that moment, which elevates the joy of all present, including the joy of Mother Mary. Elizabeth says, For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Again, imagine the scene. It was this tiny child within Elizabeth's womb, John the Baptist, who immediately perceived the presence of the Lord and leaped for joy. And it was Elizabeth who immediately perceived the joy in her child, living within her womb. As Elizabeth expressed this to Mary, who was already joyful at completing her journey, Mary was suddenly all the more overjoyed at the realization that she had brought to Elizabeth and John, the savior of the world living within her womb. This story should teach us much about what is most important in life. Yes, it's important to reach out in love to others. It's important to care for our relatives and friends when they need us the most. It's important to be sacrificial with our time and energies for the good of others, because through these acts of humble service, we certainly share the love of God. But most importantly, we must bring Christ Jesus himself to others. Elizabeth was not filled with joy first and foremost, because Mary was there to help her in her pregnancy. Rather, she was overjoyed primarily because Mary brought her Jesus, her Lord, living within her womb. Though we do not bring Christ in the same way as our Blessed Mother did, we nonetheless must make this our central mission in life. First, we must foster a love and devotion to our Lord so deep that He truly dwells within us. Then, we must bring Him who dwells within us to others. This is unquestionably the greatest act of charity we will ever be able to offer to another. Reflect today, not only upon your mission to invite your Lord to dwell within you as our Blessed Mother did, but also upon your Christian duty to then bring Him who dwells within you to others. Do others encounter Christ living within you with joy? Do they sense His presence in your life and respond with gratitude? Regardless of their response, commit yourself to this holy calling of bringing Christ to others as an act of the deepest love. Let us pray. Lord, please do dwell within me. Come and transform me by your holy presence. As you do come to me, help me to then become a missionary of your divine presence by bringing you to others, so that they may encounter the joy of your presence. Make me a pure instrument, dear Lord, and use me to inspire all whom I encounter every day. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.